Last Sunday, we explored the deep cultural significance of John Stewart mocking the Obamacare rollout because of his generally liberal bent. And it turns out I gave him some fodder for The Daily Show. And it's made the president some fierce adversaries, one in particular. If you've lost John Stewart, you're in deep trouble. If you lost John Stewart, you got problems. Even John Stewart this week taking shots at Obamacare. What impact does that have on the whole uh, public dialogue? <laughs> what impact does, does me have on the, the public dialogue? I guess it is very significant that even John Stewart, even John Stewart has turned against this. I can't recall even John Stewart ever doing that before. Okay, it was funny, but this is a neat little game that Stewart plays. He wants to be a cutting-edge media and political critic. Remember the rally for sanity in Washington? And he's good at it. But if you say he's having an impact, he says, Bwah? Come on, I don't have any influence. I'm just a guy telling smutty jokes on basic cable. Look, making fun of something, that's nothing new for us. So don't act like us making jokes about a certain program or president is evidence that that politician or issue has reached some kind of tipping point for action. The point is this. <laughs> don't you use our jokes as evidence that the thing you hate must be stopped. Because I'm sure when we joke about <laughs> you like, you're more than happy to ignore. John Stewart making fun of Obamacare was a symbolic moment. The same with SNL mocking Kathleen Sebelius. But these things matter. Do we in the media overuse these clips to oversimplify issues? We're guilty, John. We're guilty. But keep them coming. Oh, and this is my good side.